two red Disney funnels. <gasps> wow. Are you ready to follow the pixie dust and head right into your next Disney adventure when you sail out of T8, AKA Terminal 8, here at Port Canaveral? Well, Port Canaveral is known for extreme traveler convenience. And coming soon, even more surprises are in store for when cruising is up and running again as guests get serious upgrades to Cruise Terminal 8. And it's exclusively used for Disney Cruise Line. In this video, we are gonna take you behind the scenes for a A to Z exclusive as we explore Terminal 8, the Disney Cruise Line Terminal at Port Canaveral. We had the opportunity to see a bit behind the scenes in the hard hat construction area. And don't worry, we're taking you along with us so we can show you just what it is going to be like when we're ready to cruise again. By the way, if you're new, my name is Alana Singano from Travel the World A to Z. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another upload. Let's get started and dive in to the video. When the ships are sailing, you will see the 4,000 passenger sister ships, the Disney Dream and the Disney Fantasy offer impressive cruise industry firsts, like the aqueduct coasters, where you slide down a transparent tube and experience fireworks at sea off in the middle of the Caribbean. Truly, truly spectacular. What an experience. But before we can have all that fun, like the great galactic adventure of Star Wars Day at Sea, we have to get to the port and we have to get on the ship. So we'll backtrack a bit before we can have those amazing experiences. Let's start off right in the port with some of the changes. First change that you'll notice is the new drop off spot. So here we're standing in what is the new employee parking lot. And adjacent to it is the drop off spot that has a new 330 foot canopy, which is over double the original size. This is where you'll pull up in your car, get dropped off, leave your luggage with the porters here, and you'll be on your way. There are side entrances here for the employees and vendors who are using this entrance and parking lot. On the ground, you can see the new traffic route for where the forklifts will be taking your luggage from over where you left it at the canopies with the porter, and they will drive it through this parking lot over to the dock of the ship. Now, if you drive to the port, you will park in the Port Canaveral secure parking. It's well lit and super convenient to get to the ships. So if you're an arriving guest, you can drive directly to the ship, drop off your luggage, underneath that canopy and then go and park. You'll love how short the journey is from the car to the terminal at Port Canaveral. So once you're parked, you can walk across the crosswalk or use the bridge to access the terminal. You'll get through those doors straight ahead and start the check-in process. Now this is a 34,000 square foot area that you can utilize for photo ops if you arrive to the port too early or if you just want to snap a pic with the Disney Cruise Line sign and the ship in the background. Start making those memories already. If you're familiar with Disney's Magical Express, this experience hasn't changed here at the terminal, but the buses will still give you curbside service, dropping you off right off the side of the terminal. There's 8,000 square foot of area on the lower level where you will get ready for the queuing before you go upstairs to get on the ship. The pillars here will have labeled numbers to give directions for the different drop off sections, like zone one, two, three, and on. Now it's time to take a closer look at the pier and get closer to that Disney ship. Does everyone have their hard hat on? Now it's time to take this tour inside the terminal, courtesy of Port Canaveral. We're going to see just how the progress is going inside as well. Renovation projects like this can be very challenging. The teams will have additional challenges pop up as they're looking to enhance the old structure as they bring in the new. Unforeseen problems can happen, but they have a dedicated team of designers and workers who are ready for the job. This project started in early 2020, and they have a $36 million budget for renovations, including the 11,000 square foot expanded arrivals hall. This hall has been made larger and fine details are being paid attention to with the twisted rope details being kept the same, making sure the old and new matches perfectly. The rotunda is part of the original structure from 1998. And can you believe it that this Mickey 
hand clock actually works too. I love the details. They're planning new landscaping outside, putting in new additional palm trees, making sure that all of the look and feel inside and outside is beautiful. Inside, we can expect to see new carpets, new plug-in stations to charge in your devices, making sure that we're ready to snap every photo as we walk onto the gangway and onto the ship. And the ticket counters have actually been made smaller to allow for additional seating area so you can plan to socially distance and have your space. So the upwards of $165,000 have been used to renovate the floor, fixing the cracks and the inlay designs, making it look the best it possibly can. Now it's time to head back outside. Let's get even closer to the ship. Where this construction is, is the main berth for the terminal. And where you see the Disney Wonder parked right now is where an additional Disney ship will be parked when two Disney ships call this port home. Take a look at these brand new fendering systems that will help the ships when they dock here. Now this passenger boarding bridge will be replaced. Where you see that door, they will be putting in a new one hooked up there. The new passenger boarding bridge will extend out and have an even longer reach. So that means there's even more mobility and reach so they can hook it up to different sections of the ship. It's very similar to what you see at airports with jet bridges. Now before stepping onto that boarding bridge, it will be your last step on land before you embark on a cruise that will take you to incredible ports of call like Disney's private island, Castaway Key. So say bon voyage. I know we all are ready to get back on these cruise ships. Well friends, that does it with our behind the scenes A to Z exclusive of Terminal 8, the Disney terminal here in Port Canaveral. I hope you enjoyed the video, seeing the behind the scenes in the hard hat area and having us take you around. We're so excited for the terminal to be completely done and have cruising, resuming and getting to experience it all. Let me know in the comments below if you are wanting to see an additional construction update as they move forward and as we get back to cruising and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments as well. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a big thumbs up. And until next time, ciao for now.